Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today you are going to learn how to use the microprofile metrics with Quarkus. The microprofile metrics allow your application to provide monitoring data. You are going to see in action the counted annotation to count how many times a method has been invoked, the annotation time that is tracked how frequently the method is invoked and how long it takes for each invocation, the method annotation that measures the rate at which the method is invoked, and in the end, the Gauss method. Let's continue with the project created inside the previous video, Microprofile Health. Go inside the pomixml and add a new dependency, Quarkus Smorai Metrics. Now, run the project in development mode. You can see the extension Smorai metrics and the server up and running on the port 8080. Open Postman and inside new tab, type localhost 8080 slash metrics. The slash metrics aggregates all the metrics and you can see different metrics of your application with the open metrics format. You can just add the slash base to see all the metrics that all microprofile compliance servers have to provide. You can also use the slash vendor. There are vendor specific metrics on the top of the basic one. And last but not least, the slash application. There are metrics provided by your application at runtime. What you are going to do now is to add some specific application metrics. Let's start with the counted. Add the annotation counted on the top of the method fetch TV series with the name and description. This annotation will count how many times the TV series has been invoked. Let's see the counted in action. You can see here that now you have a new application matrix and of course the value is zero because you haven't invoked the endpoint yet. Now you can see the value one. Let's do it again. And again, very well. Let's put the same counted annotation on the top of the method get whole. Let's try it.
if you int the get whole endpoint, you will also see one inside application matrix for the get all method. Now let's use the timed annotation to track how frequently the method fetch tv series is invoked and how long it takes for each invocation. And let's do the same to track how frequently the method get whole is invoked and how long it takes for each invocation. Let's go inside Postman. And now you can see all the data provided by the time annotation. You can also use the property unit to specify, for example, the metric unit like millisecond. Now the metrics are in millisecond. There is a possibility to retrieve the metrics as JSON. You have to put inside the header of your request accept with the value application JSON. Very good, much better. Let's move on and let's use the annotation method to measure the rate at which the TV series method is invoked. Let's use it also for the get whole method.
let me just use the metric slash application and now you can see also the metric provided by the method annotation I can always switch to the open metric format just removing the accept property inside the header. Now let's write together a new endpoint to retrieve a TV series from the database using the ID. Let's add the get annotation, the produce annotation. I'm going to use the repository with the method find by optional ID. I'm gonna to rename the method to get by DTV series, much better. Now type pop param with the ID as long. And in the end, return the response with the status code OK and the TV series if present. Otherwise, our response with status code not found. Last button on list, on the top of this new method, you can put the annotation gouge. Remember to put the name and description. Now go inside Postman to try the new method. Very well, it's working. In the end of the video, I want to show you the possibility to change the name, the path of your matrix endpoint, just using the property quarkus smori matrix.path. Let's put, for example, up metrics.
very well it's worked the source code of this video you can find it inside my github repository quarkus macro profile metrics feel free to clone it and thank you so much for watching this video i hope you like it if you have any question or doubts please don't hesitate to contact me you can find me on twitter linkedin and instagram subscribe to my channel if you want and see you in the next video about quarkus bye